Good day, crew, and welcome to a short video on filleting a fish. I don't claim to be as good as the people that do it professionally, but I do manage to make a reasonable job of getting the fillet off. So if you're new to this, it might help you. I'm not the best filleter in the world, but this is how I do it. I always scale my fish. I see a lot of people uh, skin them. Don't bother scaling them, just cut the skin off. But I reckon that's a mistake. Because leaving the skin on, even if you don't eat the skin, leaving the skin on, a lot of the flavour is just under the skin. So leave it on, and if you must cut it off, cut it off after it's cooked. Uh, for that reason, I scale the fish, and leave the skin on when I fill it, and as I say, we just cut it up more. Well, I eat the skin actually, I think it's nice. But my wife cuts the skin off, she doesn't like it, but she gets the flavour that's just under the skin, just the same. So if you've never tried it, I suggest you give it a go and see what you think. Make sure you scale all around these wing areas too. So yeah, after, that's one of the tastiest bits of the fish when you get a big enough fish to get them. I go right up to the head too. Some people eat the head, I haven't actually tried it. No, my wife looks at it and says it's too gross, so... And uh, consequently it never gets cooked. But one day I might cook it in a smoker or something to see how it goes. I know the New Zealanders love it. And the Islanders too. That meat in there in the cheek is supposed to be really, really good. I think you've got to cook it and then get the meat out. I guess the only way you're going to do that. I think I've got all the scales now. Then it's the filtering. There's no right or wrong way to fill the fish. This is just what I do. I like to use a wide blade knife because, first of all, I just put an incision. Oh, this one needs sharpening. I thought I picked up a sharp one. Go get another one, I think. It's not sharp enough for me. Give this one a go. And so just through the skin, first cut. Now, once you're through the skin, you can follow that backbone, or I don't know what you call them, they're not the ribs. Uh, you can follow the bones anyway. Just lay the flat of your blade down along those bones and cut all the way through to the backbone. Then on the tail end, come over the backbone, just up to the top of it, and then along it, just up to the top of the backbone. And then come down tail end, down onto the bones on the other side, and then cut all the way through, just on that tail bit. Then come up here, cut through under there, and up, slant the knife up towards the head. Get as much of that meat as you can. Okay, now, once I've done that much, I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Because I find it's easier to do it while the other side's attached, because once you get the fillet off, this side sags down, it's harder to do. So while the other side's there, and again, just lay your knife down. That's why I like these wide blade knives. They're easy to lay down along those bones. And again, cut down here, down towards the head. And make sure you get up over that backbone. And then on the tail end, pull those bones down and cut through. Stop, stop when you We'll stop just before you get to the gut cavity if you can. About there. Now, don't use your good knife for cutting the pin bones because it bluntens it. Once you've got past the pin bones, you go back to your good knife. Just follow that rib cage down. Okay, that's one nice fillet off that. Roll him over, or turn him around to do the other side so I can reach in with my right hand. And then pull the red cage down again. Now, this is the bit you don't want to miss. This is the best bit of the fish. It's got a lot of little bones in it, so you wouldn't feed it to children. But, but it, is, it is good. Notice these wings. You pretty much break them off. Just by twisting. Just make sure you leave the guts behind. There we go. Now, believe me, I'll take that 
Yeah, if you end up with a bit of gill on it, take that off. Now, remember, don't give it to kids. And anyone you do give it to, warn them about the bones in it. I've got to cut these fins off. My wife doesn't like the look of them. And also, to cook them, put it down the middle. You can cut it down the middle with a knife. The bones aren't that hard. And a half each, my wife and I. And look at all that meat. And that is the sweetest meat in the whole fish. Don't, don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. It is delicious. It's a shame to waste this, but really don't have anything to do with it because mullet and bonito, uh, tuna, they all make better crab bait. This is crab bait, but it doesn't attract them the same as uh, some of the others. So, yeah, as I say, it's a shame to, shame to waste it, but I am going to take a bit of this cheap meat because the wife won't cook the head and take the meat out and try it. All right, well, that's going to go in the garbage. The other thing about putting it in the crab pot is once you bend it like that, all those spikes stand up, which makes it hard to get into the bait bag. So now get the pin bones out. Cut them alongside them either side. Only go down to the skin and let my wife decide how she wants to cut these filled up into pieces for meals. I might be captain of the boat, but she rules the kitchen. Except for cooking crabs. She lets me cook crabs. Now, if you want to be really pedantic about it, you could get a uh, pair of needle nose pliers and pull the pin bones out so you don't have to cut the meat away with it because you're going to lose a little bit of meat. I've never been that pedantic about it myself. Big pin bones in a big fish. Okay, that's got all them out. White water frayed out, it's more fitting for this size snapper. Oops, missed one there. Oh, so you can pull them out with your fingers if you're determined enough. Alright, I reckon I've got them. So two big fillets, two wings, and a couple of bits of cheap meat, and I've got to take them inside and trim these off, because my wife doesn't like the look of them. So that'll feed us for, oh, I reckon we'll get a good three meals out of that. At least, maybe four. And since we don't eat the same thing every night, so... Yeah, that's about a week of seafood there for us. Until next time, good fishing.